Spider-Man 2 on PS5 is a masterpiece. I played the game after the hype was over, and I was impressed. The game is such an improvement from the first one that the two are hard to be compared. Spider-Man 2 takes the formula of the first game, expands it and improves it. So much that some people say that it's hard for them to return to the first game after experiencing Spider-Man 2. And indeed, the swinging is faster and with the glide suit and air tunnels, traversing New York is a joy. There are more diversity challenges, a greater variety of street thugs, and what impressed me the most in the 15 to 18 hour long campaign is that I almost never felt like doing the same thing twice. I said felt like not actually doing because many activities are similar. But I still felt that I'm never doing the same thing twice due to the variety in the same activity group. And this is a great achievement more reviewers should point out. I mean, I could, for the rest of the video, just show you video clips of diverse activities and I will be done with the video review and there will still be more to show. That's how diverse the game is. From carnival games to riding a bike, playing as Venom or as MJ, there is a lot to do in the game. The only downsides I could call are the looks of MJ, she didn't need a remake, like Peter didn't need a remake either, but hey, I got used to the new face in Spider-Man 2, even if I didn't get used to it in the first game, neither in Miles Morales, well, in Spider-Man 2, I don't know, the face just works out. And another downside, and I know many could criticize me for my opinion, even though there are many suits, each with three sets of paint jobs, most of them aren't that exciting. There are a handful of great costumes, but the majority are meh. Again, this is just my opinion. Also, somehow, I expected more from the graphics, but I don't understand how and why. I mean, the game is in 4K, the map is bigger, the overall graphics are more complex, but somehow in many moments, the game felt like it looks just like the first one on PS4. Maybe it's just my impression, so just know that if you have the same feeling, you're not alone. I felt the same, even if objectively, the graphics are better. Playing as both Miles and Peter is great, the story was great, but it also had many illogical moments and plot holes that made it look like a cartoon rather than a well thought out story. Still, even with the plot holes and silly moments, the story was still intriguing and objectively good. There are also some woke moments, but they didn't bother me. They didn't feel forced. Some complained about them, but I don't consider them that bothersome. Sure, I completely disagree that any form of media has to have woke content. I disagree with that. But here, it was less forced. I still didn't like it, but hey, it wasn't aggressive. And what glitches are concerned, I stumbled upon a few, some were serious enough to force me to restart the game, but they were still pretty rare. I won't get into more details as I don't intend to make this review in depth, so overall just know that I liked Spider-Man 2 and consider it a great improvement and successor to the first game. It's a must play for any PS5 owner. The game is amazing, and since it takes place in the Ultimate Spider-Man branch of the multiverse, I can make a parallel and call it the Ultimate Spider-Man video game experience until now. I know, I said that with the first one too, and Insomniac managed to raise the stakes further. Spider-Man 2 is at the moment the ultimate Spider-Man video game experience. I'm eager to see what Spider-Man 3 will be like. Maybe it will raise the stakes even more. We'll see. But until then, get your hands on Spider-Man 2 and enjoy it. It's a masterpiece.